Mr. Cummings, you're now 81 years old and searching a lifetime for the Ark of Noah. Why? Well, just lifetime interest in the subject matter from the time I was six years old. Started in my research work in 1945. Made my first trip to Turkey and to the mountain in 1966 with uh, a large group. 70 animals to get us up to camp, a ton and a half of, of gear, and th 45 days in tents in 1966. Then I've been here 17, this is my 18th trip since that time to Turkey, 17 climbs on Mount Ararat. Does that answer your question? 17 climbs is now August 1986, and you make another try. Um, you, are you convinced that the Ark is there? Absolutely, no question. I've talked to seven people who have seen Noah's Ark. I've talked to people who stood on it, looked in the windows, been all around it. Uh, there's no question about it being there, but you're talking about a mountain that covers 500 square miles, canyons twice, twice the depth of the Grand Canyon, ice cap with 22 square miles, varying an 80 to 800 feet in thickness. It's not an easy job. You had 18 expeditions. Uh, it costs a lot of money, uh, a lot of effort of people. Why is it so important for you to find the Ark? Well, it isn't so important for me, really. I, I'm a believer, but it is important for the world. All of the fundamentalist world believe in the Ark's existence because they believe in a creator and creation. They believe in the first 11 chapters of the Bible, whether they admit it or not. Even Muhammad believed that. Uh, he doesn't understand it all, but he said he believed the Torah, the first five books of the Bible. 